Field, saying I am community health workers. SRD students are with me tonight. Um, as we prepare for this board meeting, our students have requested us that they can do something different this board meeting instead of doing one on one like they usual. So our students have said that they would like to express how they would like to send the message out in a different through art. And that's why we're here today doing it through a role play. In this scene, Yaya plays a student who is getting bullied by another student at the bus stop, which is Karaya. I will be playing another student at the bus stop. When Yaya gets off the school, uh, the bus, I'm sorry, he is greeted by security, played by Sanga. And scene. Talking in the mic. Leave me alone. Why are you always bothering me? Why are you wearing ugly shoes? Please come along, you're not going to get into your shoes. Alright. Scene. So that shows that um, a lot of the things that our students say that um, they complain about, um, sorry, they go through a lot of times. Before they get into our school building, sometimes they just finish getting bullied at a bus stop or things that just happen before they have to come into our school building. This will be the second scene of that scene. Hey, good morning. Uh, may I see your bus pass? Uh, uh, yeah, you came late. Uh, here's your late pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you like my? Uh, how you like our new security system? Uh, very good. You know, that's intrusive. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. How you doing today, Yaya? Yeah, yeah. uh, okay. Are you sure you don't seem okay? Not really. I talked to the principal, but you know, we really didn't do it. Today. I think I'll be okay. Uh, I'll write you a pass to the guidance and see if they could help me. But I got a line right now, so uh, if you can wait a minute, I'll, I'll give you a pass. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no it's so important that our students have a positive start to their day. When they come to the school, many of them say that they are dealing with bullying before and after school, which can really impact their mental, emotional, behavior, health. Many of our students don't feel like they can talk to adults or that they will understand. Okay, I have another student up, so that will be the time we'll use to keep going. Many of our students don't feel like they can talk to adults or that we will understand or they will understand that they're going through things um, as you do believe um, other uses um, through social media um, and other platforms and also physically too. We need to look out for our youth. Um, it seems like they are when they are sad or mad. So what this scene, the second scene basically showed is when students come into school, the security guard versus the first scene that um, Diatra and our other friends had played, the security guard actually says, good morning, how are you doing? That's not a lot, of a lot of times our students say that they do not get that kind of response from security. Also, he did recognize that Yaya was not doing okay. When Yaya said, I'm okay, he said, are you sure? When Yaya explained that he wasn't, you know, he already talked to the principal and then he, nothing is being done about it, Sangam has said, instead of just saying okay and ending it there, he said, I'll write you a pass to the guidance counselor. So instead of sending him to class feeling like that, he said, how about you go try the guidance counselor first, even though I have a line right now. So just kind of encouraging school staff to be aware of our students and kind of, you know, fill in the room. If you see a student is upset, make sure that you help them understand that they are cared about and not just kind of go to class, you have suspension, and just cut it there because our students do go through things before school. Thank you. Our next speakers are, uh, are Jessica Bauer Walker, Ralum, Tashida, um, Kyla Trescu. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She don't know y'all, so why would she know y'all? Thank you, President Kaufman. I'm going to have our students introduce themselves with the pronunciation of their names. Hi, everyone. My name is Jessica Bauer Walker. I'm from Kyla Trescu. Hi, everyone. 
Okay, so again, uh, just want everybody for the record to know that our students actually signed up on the speakers list. Um, again, we're working with a creative format to help amplify student voice, but they all signed up on the speakers list themselves, and they actually were BC. So we're here just supporting them as adults, um, but, but this is very much directed by the students. This is a, a format that they've requested, and these scenarios are actually ones that they developed themselves. So we're just here as adult supporters. We have a student played by Kylie, who continues to be late to school and in class. Her teacher is played by Rahema, and she is getting frustrated and sends her down to the office where she has an interaction with the school clerk, who's played by me. Kylie, you're late again. I'm sorry, I had things going on at home this morning. I don't want to hear it. You're consistently late, and I don't think you understand the importance of coming to school on time. No, I don't want to hear it. I'm sending you to the office. I'm tired of it. You need to understand the importance of being in school. Um, hi, I'm sending Kylie down to the office again because she needs to talk to the principal about the importance of being in school all the time, on time. Okay, so she, well, did you tell her why you're, why you're late? Yeah, I had to, to help my sister to school. Well, she's not going to take that yeah. as an excuse. You have to stop being late. I had things to do this morning. I can't help that I'm late. Their girls came late. My girls came late. You seem like you have a little bit of an attitude. Now you're going to have to talk to Principal Jones, and she's not going to be happy about this either. So what I want you to do is come sit down over here, and I don't want to see you on your phone. I'm going to call Principal Jones. She'll be out in five minutes, so do your work. and. And, and be quiet so that you don't get in more trouble than you already in. Okay, and scene. So now we're going to reenact this scene in a way where we hope that this can happen in a more positive and trauma-informed way. So we're going to go back to the end of the interaction where Mr. Hama calls the school clerk. Hello, I'm sending Kylie down to the office again to make sure that she can understand the importance of talking to the principal and understand the importance of being to school on time, all the time. Kylie, what are you doing down here again? She sent me back down here because I Please restart the clock. We'll go on to our next three minutes. Okay. Um, does she know what's going on with you? You know she's a pretty strict teacher. I tried to tell her, but she just needs to rest and just doesn't listen. Okay. Well, she told me that she wanted you to talk to, to Principal Jones, which I'm not sure if that's going to go well for you. Have you told uh, the counselor what's going on in school? All right, I'm gonna do you a favor here. I'm gonna see if I can call down to the counselor and you can tell her what's going on and then maybe she can either help with the situation and talk to the principal herself or, or together with you. Um, but it seems like you need to talk to SST and, and not the principal. Would you like to do that? Yeah. Okay, did you eat breakfast this morning? All right, I have a box over there of a kit for kids that came in late, so why don't you help yourself to some breakfast and, and settle down. I'm gonna go call SST and see if they can come down here to talk to you, okay? Okay, no problem. All right, and see. So many students are coming into school with issues that staff don't know about. We feel often misunderstood and have a hard time explaining what's going on. One person being mean or nice can make or break our day. Students need support and understanding, and for someone to ask them what's going on, not tension and suspension. When they are late or not coming to class. I feel like it's really hard to go to school when the environment you're walking into is hostile and tense. Like, if you consider it for yourself, would you want to go to a school where you're constantly being targeted and everybody's upset at you? Thank you, Kylie and Rahama. Good job. They act in ways that we don't understand, or maybe not the best ways. Sometimes they make they make bad choices, but they are not bad kids. So we want to make sure that we separate the behavior from our children and uh, the things that they're telling us here, and show them as much love, care, and concern as possible. Thanks again, Emma and Kylie, and thank you for listening.